Hello, <laughs> welcome back. This is uh, Tony. Um, I'm a little bit excited because today in the in the mail it uh, arrived. It is a military fluke uh, multimeter. Uh, it has quite some uh, years. Uh, it has those uh, fancy Nixie tubes. Uh, not for being fancy, because but it just because it's that old. Uh, it can withstand uh, like uh, 20 G of uh, G forces, so I wonder if it works in uh, zero G <laughs> right here. So um, I'm gonna clean it a bit, uh, unpack it, and uh, let's see what it does. And um, yeah, if I can uh, not hold myself back, I will probably even open it. So uh, stay with me. Okay, here we have it. Um, it is cleaned on the outside, so uh, now I wonder uh, what is inside. So we open it. It is uh, completely uh, water resistant. So it is very, if, as you can see, there is a uh, rubber here and uh, that closes it completely. So that's why you, it's probably still uh, looking very nice inside it even has here an air release for if you are uh, because of the air pressure no if you uh, stocked it away in, the, in high pressure and then you open you are almost unable to open it in a lower pressure area because it's in a vacuum so then you can release first uh, the air out um, well It does uh, look nice, so uh, I continue the cleaning and then we try it. So here we have it in the inside. Uh, the cable I found in this little compartment. This pull the lever and you can open it in the inside it actually doesn't say fluke but it says TA instrumental case from Los Angeles oh so it, it traveled uh, far <laughs> um, it also says here that it is wired for uh, 110 uh, 115 um, yeah but uh, I know from the seller that it was uh, already for uh, 230 so and the plug exactly looks like that it is for uh, 230 so I'm convinced that we can try this without any problem let's see if we can just put it on this and maybe yes it says power right here so It has also these uh, watertight uh, knobs and also these uh, buttons. Um, they have some sort of, of, of rubber, so it really looks like it is uh, waterproof. So, uh, okay. Now I'm excited <laughs> to put the power plug, or we have a big bang, or uh, so uh, power switch is off. We have our uh, European plug. So it would be 230 or we have a big bang. So let's uh, see. Yes. Wow, look at those uh, Nixies. <laughs> I, I really wonder uh, what is the age of. Uh, of this meter um, yeah it looks cool it says power on it even says low power so uh, but according here to the label it can do minus 62 celsius 
until uh, plus 60 uh, Celsius. Um, yeah, so we are probably now around 20, 20, 22 maybe here. Yeah. So that is not a problem. Uh, I think it's in DC because I can see a minus. Yes. This is the AC, voltage DC. And we have kilo ohms. Oh, cool. Instead of putting one Nixie, they, because for the first uh, digit, they put some sort of, uh, yeah, I think it's a neon or something. And it can only do a one because it's just a single, a single light. So they didn't bother to, to put a real uh, digit, like a, a full uh, Nixie digit. Uh, but they, yeah, well, it's smart. It's, it's almost, uh, almost right. So, but we measuring uh, ohms, so it's uh, in the maximum. Mm -hmm. So, 10 kilo ohms, same. And in the voltages, they uh, don't need that. Oh, you saw a, a plus uh, sign appear. Okay, um, let's put it on uh, on the power supply. Okay, I have uh, a little setup. I moved it a little bit. I want to use the the min leaf uh, power supply because this one goes up to 60 volts. I will have the O1. I hope you can see the display. Uh, it's a reference voltage to see what the meter does. So first, no, let's put on DC volts, no, 3.5 3 volts, DC up to 10, um, uh, put one in the low. Three point five six. Here it's a three point five. Well, then I'm a bit curious what the Owen will do. put a little bit more speed okay <laughs> yes <laughs> I don't know if you see what I see but this one says 3.551210 and this one says 3.551 <laughs> I don't know, this must be at least 30 years, if, if not even more, because of the Nixies. But look at this, at least on the 3 volts, it's spot on. Really, I, I, I need to zoom in, because you're not going to believe this. Oh, sorry about that. Look at this. It sometimes jumps to the tree because it's a <laughs> two six two seven. Ah, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, let's see in the other ranges. I hope. I need to be careful because I'm on the ten volts scale. Okay, let's keep it to this. Nine four nine five. Nine four nine, well five six. Maybe put a little bit more speed. Well, still pretty accurate, I would say. Let's go to the one hundred volt scale, and then we bring it all up to a higher level. Yeah, okay, now we can go above 
left then. Twenty five point four, it says there. Twenty five. Yeah, it is still pretty accurate. Amazing. Let's see if this is the sixty volt or the thirty. Yeah, this one is sixty. That one. Oh, it should go up to 60 and it doesn't, so why is that? Oh, this one can still go. So, 61.5. Well, I would say it is still spot on. Yeah, this is pretty accurate for uh, so many years old. Okay. Uh, let's measure some resistance. I will zoom out. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I have a resistor. Is that maybe okay? So I need to go to one. And I was missing this one, I think. Nineteen hundred. This one. Yes, that's better. I'm in the kilo ohms, and it's one. So it is before. First, I measure this one. Uh, yes, now it says 100.7, 100.6. Okay, this one. <laughs> 100.7, yes. I would say that is spot on, and if we go really low, like 10 ohms, what does it say? Yeah, but that is almost 10, I would say. It's exactly 10 here, so that looks good. Okay, that's all very nice how it works. Uh, we checked on the ohms range and we on the resistor ranges and we did the voltage DC. I do not have a variable AC power supply. Well, I do have one, but it's a Fariac and I'm, uh, yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I'm scared to put the Fariac because they're not really gonna put the mains power in the front with uh, this so I'm not sure it's all isolated so I'm not gonna try that um, but I wonder what's inside so <laughs> we're gonna open it okay all the screws are loose and uh, oof, it slides nicely I, I, I don't know what I expected, but it's all it's very smooth. And uh, look at this, it just has uh, like drawers, it has rails. And, and it even has uh, a markings for the humidity inside. It's, yeah, so you can see it if it has been wet or not. Uh, well, the strip probably doesn't work anymore. Um, let's take this out. Well, it clearly said uh, don't uh, 
do not remove the six screws on this surface which were those that's the one I uh, did first of course um, but it's not a problem because the battery pack is not inside so that's all okay uh, well I don't know what you think but <laughs> this looks all brand new to me aside from the parts that of course are a lot older but no moisture nothing no oxidation of any sort and it must be because uh, of its box now the box is uh, watertight uh, this stuff as i mentioned before it is tested for 20 g's <laughs> which is a lot um, yeah it looks amazing This is really nice. Okay, this is it. Um, this was my eBay find. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, hope to see you next time.